guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to get double movement on keyboard and mouse. Um, this is superior to keyboard and mouse only, uh, more exclusive since console or control players do not need it at all. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys two methods on how to get it. So yeah, stay tuned. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering why you should use double movement points. And uh, for me it's just a simple answer. Uh, as you see on the uh, on the video, you can just like strafe, um, completely just keep on running without losing momentum while building walls and protecting yourself. This would be really useful when you're in zone and you just wanna uh, get the zone and like don't take the fight. Uh, also, like since there's uh, bolts in the game, you're running a high risk of getting sniped even for like the body. So what you wanna do is just uh, strafe left and right like crazy and um, this will like make it so hard for you to get sniped as you see on the pictures or on the uh, video like if you get sniped this you're probably like American sniper or some shit because this is nearly impossible to hit Okay, so for the first method, you want to download this program. Um, it's really simple, really easy. I already have this installed on my PC, so I can't really install it again. But it's really simple to install, so you don't really have to worry about that. Once it's installed, you just want to open it. Um, since I already have this like set up, this is gonna be ready to go for me, so I'm just gonna delete this real quick and get back to you guys. Alright, so once you have your program open, click on the button on the top left. And this, yeah, you need to click like either A or D, depending on what you like A for left and D for right. And just click A down below as well. And uh, <clears throat> you have to check the extended key mark and here you make you need to make sure that you pick a uh, key that you don't use so these are my settings uh, down below um, yeah you can just copy them yeah that's it that's the first one done and then you just uh, repeat and this of course for the D key extend key and then pick a key that, you, that you're not using. And yeah, as I'm showing you now, you can disable them and enable them. Because if you're gonna disable or have them enabled when you wanna uh, type, it's gonna be all messed up. So yeah, that was the first method. Okay, so the second um, way to get it is. Um, by just having two keys so if I press A and N at the same time I will strafe then press J for example you can choose any key that you don't use it's much harder to control since you're only using um, or since you're using two binds or two fingers but it, it works the same way as you see Yeah, that was pretty much everything I had to say about double movement binds. Um, if you guys got any questions, just uh, reach out to me on Twitter or stuff like that. And yeah, peace. Thank you for watching.